Diablo 4 Season 2 is finally here, and with that we only have one simple question to answer. Is Season 2 good and playable and should you come back, or is it absolute garbage as most people expect? Now, I'm gonna give you the quick rundown, starting with what's bad and then starting with what's good. The full simple uh, answer to this is, yeah, Season 2 is honestly a hundred times better than I would have ever expected. So, let me give you the quick rundown of what's happening. You have this new mechanic, it's called the Vampiric Blood Tide Thingamajig. Uh, it will always be happening in one zone, and you go to this zone and you do these events. Essentially, they're Three of Whispers. They count towards Three of Whispers. And this is pretty good. This mechanic is kind of interesting, kind of fresh, but it obviously has its downsides. And the downside is that there's only uh, three types of quests. You have this one, which is essentially sl slay random things. Uh, this one, uh, activate one of these chalices, the big one or the small one, and kill two bosses. And then there's this one that the either requires you to destroy a couple of things or free a couple of prisoners. There's no variety there, and on average, those quests can be completed in, well, pretty much like a small portion of the zone. So the downsides are, you don't actually have to go through all the zone, and there's not a lot of events. Oh, it just, uh... Just swapped locations. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Nice. And this has no cooldown. The moment one ends, the other one starts, which is honestly pretty cool. Now, even though this does get tedious, honestly, relatively fast, not gonna lie, it does get tedious relatively fast. It's still kind of fun because the rewards are pretty big and pretty goofy. Let's actually check. You have two currencies. Keys, <coughs> that at the start you're gonna get none of. And later on, you're gonna get a whole lot of keys. Now, the downside of the chests, they're big, they look juiced, but they're actually shit. And you should honestly not even, you know, try to open them because they're kind of garbage. They contain none of the things that you want. You see that? Ten keys. And these are the blood things. The blood things actually matter the most. Oh, look at that. We have the small chalice. That's good. And we have another one. So... Uh, pro tip for anyone who wants to play, don't do the big one, do the small ones. The big one costs 150, it gives good experience and it's longer, but the small ones with 15 blood, that only cost 15 blood? It's two bosses, roughly the, uh, well, slightly less loot drops, and I'm pretty sure these bad boys respawn. Because... I have done one, and then it respawned and I could click it again. Which means technically you can just farm blood, stay at this thing all the time, and just, you know, instantaneously reuse it constantly. But I don't know if that's a bug or not. But in any case, even though these zones aren't that special, they're not that interesting, it is something to break the tedium. Oh, actually I need to go here. I guess it's still too late to slay the world boss. I would have loved to have done that, but whatever. So, I... W it breaks the tedium. You don't have to do just Three of Whispers. You go here, you do a couple of these, you go back to Three of Whispers. Congratulations, you're pretty happy about your life, you know? You can do a couple of dungeons, you can do quests. It's it's not the greatest mechanic in the world, but it breaks up tedium, and that's exactly what you want, honestly, because you don't want to level by doing the same things exactly. Also, as you could see, there's world bosses and legion events also spawn. When I logged in, I just finished the Legion event previously in, the, in this location. And they give a lot of XP, okay? They give a lot of XP and a lot of rewards. That's also really, really good. Now, admittedly, Legion events are still as fucking boring as they can be. It is literally one of the most annoying ways to do things. And it's the most annoying event possible. I personally hate it. I don't know about you, but I really dislike it. It just whips you in one direction, and then it says, okay, now stand and kill these three guys right here. I, I dislike it, but hey, it's really good rewards. And it feels kind of good and rewarding at the end. Also, okay, that's the good part about this, okay? And that's pretty much all of the good part about this, if I'm being 100. Oh, there's, there's a Legion event also here. Well, I haven't cleared it, so can't even go there. But yeah, as you can see, Legion events... All around, boys. All, all around happening. So, it's a pretty decent uh, way to level and do things like that. So, 
It's less tedious to level. It's more interesting to level. It's more enjoyable to level. You have positive rewards also in the form of these things like here. Hunter's Acclaim board, which is, well, I'll let me just show you. Absolute bullshit, as you can see. It's as stupid as it can get, honestly. But, hey, it's, it's free stuff. It's a progression system, so at least it's nice that it is there. And... Well, obviously they added new bosses, but that is when you hit level 50, I'm l currently level 30. Now, okay, that's the good part. The early part feels better, feels, uh, feels a lot better, honestly. And also, by the way, these events can be done by everyone. You don't need to activate three of these. You, you can activate one or zero, and this event can still happen, as long as someone activates it. And that's honestly pretty cool. That's really cool. So... The new Blood Tide Zone is definitely a solid dub for uh, Blizzard, even though it could be improved by a lot. Because, again, the reality is you're gonna probably stick around this part of the zone only and just run around in circles if you want to do it. There is no point ever going from here, for example, to here. But in all, you know, it could be improved by a lot, but it is a dub, okay? And, well, I, I, I don't know about the late game, but considering you can do late game bosses and things, I honestly think that's going to be a dub for the late game. But now the bad things, the bad things that are still here from previous seasons and, well, new bad things that I guess that we need to talk about. First and foremost, when you, when you click the mount, it still randomly, just instantaneously makes you go in the direction that you uh, that your character was facing, and that's really annoying when you're when you're, for example, running like this, and you well, actually, this time it worked, but you get stuck a lot. The mount has been made better, which is honestly feelable, feelable, which is good, but you know the mount still sucks dicks in most regards. If we're being completely real here, second of all, the vampiric powers. This part right here. The vampiric powers are the worst part of the vampiric thing because they are as trash, as generalized as they can honestly get. First of all, turns out you unlock them by just clicking this mechanic and allocating experience, which is kind of stupid, feels kind of bad, and well, honestly, it feels extremely tedious and slow to actually level up these things. Okay, I don't even know if I can actually get, uh, get for example, these ones. Because, you know, I have done this quite a lot, and seems like I, these are quest rewards or something, I'm not sure. The game doesn't tell me. Uh, second of all, these powers are shit. They're as boring, as generic as they come. This is the worst mechanic, the worst part of the expansion by far. All of these powers are as boring as they can be. There are some decent mechanics, for example, the infection mechanic, because this doesn't have a cooldown, but the reality is most fun things, most interesting things, have a completely useless, nonsensical, innate cooldown around them. For example, this one, the barrier. After not moving for 3 seconds, you gain a barrier that's tw uh, that's 20% uh, of your life for 6 seconds. Which is nice, but the cooldown on this is for some reason 20 seconds. Which is shit, which means this is unusable for the most part. And you know, then you have a lot of other things. Like for example, metamorphosis, which is you evade and turn into a cloud 2 seconds. No one cares, it's dumb, why is it even here? The vampiric powers in general are absolutely as honestly generic as they can be. And there are some of, for example, uh, Blood Boil. This is one of the fun ones. When you when, when your core skill lower powers of enemy, you, you spawn uh, three uh, volatile uh, uh, blood drops. And they deal a decent damage. And this is actually super good and super fun. But... This just, uh, stuff like this, in my opinion, completely just blatantly shows how incompetent uh, Wizards, of, not Wizards, but Blizzard is with Diablo 4. Because this thing is so dumb, okay? First of all, 40 second innate cooldown, well, no, well, it grants you this, but 
It doesn't proc enough, okay? This doesn't proc enough. There are ways to make it proc enough, but even if it does proc enough, it's kind of shit. You know why? Because you need to uh, walk on these blood orb droplets to actually make them proc. Which means they're honestly completely useless because no one's gonna stop attacking just to walk on on a, on a droplet of blood and, you know, make it explode because it's stupid. Okay, and the other thing, which kind of proves that Blizzard kind of tried to make these things at least... They, they at least tested it for five seconds, right? You know how I know? Because of drop, uh, blood boil. <laughs> the thing is... When you spawn that blood droplet and you walk on it, uh, the explosion is, let's say, this big. Th th this big, you know? Th this this is how big... Uh, oh, you can't see. This is how big the explosion looks. That's the animation. And you would think, wow, that's, that's kind of shit. Yeah, it is. But turns out, that's just the animation. In reality, that blood, uh, blood droplet explosion... While the animation is only this big, it actually hits enemies even here. Yeah. Yeah. They figured out that that blood droplet thing is complete useless garbage, uh, and it can't have a small range of explosion, because that's useless. So they, made the, so, they made the animation small, 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 but the actual effect is almost your, your whole screen. So, this would be nice, but the reality is no one's ever gonna stop attacking just to pick up the droplets. And that sucks. And this is useless. Okay? Why couldn't you make this that, you know, every time you overpower, you just make, uh, create an explosion on a random enemy? It would, it would be so awesome instantaneously. But that's not happening. That is not happening, sadly. And yes, this is a perfect summarization of these powers. If they're good, they, they feel minor. If they're... All of these powers essentially feel completely underwhelming, completely minor. And honestly, as I predicted at the very start, all you want is essentially the biggest X multiplier and it's fine. Uh, these things, Path of Ferocity, Path of Divinity, Fa Path of Eternity, are completely useless uh, useless mechanics that just kind of take up a little bit of space in your inventory. And, you know, other than that, they're complete useless garbage because they don't honestly impact the gameplay at all. And they should not exist for that, uh, for that reason. It's just an ar uh, artificial limiter that actually has no real purpose except looking pretty, I guess. And that's pretty much it. I have currently three activated vampire powers. Uh, I don't know which ones... Well, these ones are activated because they're slightly glowing. But... Who gives a shit? I, 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 I don't really care. I'm just using the most generic modifiers pretty much ever possible. And this one I put in because... Well, I honestly don't know what else to put in. It's like the fifth slot's not even useful in my, my, my opinion. It's like, what am I supposed to do with this? I, I don't even know what I'm supposed... They're so bad that I can't even decide which of the bad ones I want to put in because currently I only find four useful. It, it's really, it's really sad. So yeah, the, the Blood Tides, good. Vampiric Powers, absolute shit. Sadly, that just takes up bag space. You have consumables, you have quests, you have aspects. Which is pretty good. Aspects, for some reason, are... Well, as you can clearly see, you have less place for aspects than you have for consumables, equipment, or anything else. Why did they do that? I'm not sure. Uh, farming this blood is probably going to be super annoying, considering... Uh, it's a random allocate thing, and honestly, it's going to take a pretty hefty t uh, portion of time to actually do all of this. But don't worry about spending these points. You honestly kind of find them pretty good, and as you can see, I, I don't care. It takes a while, and I don't, don't care. This is how bad the system honestly is. Uh, but yeah, that's that. And, well, other things... Uh, Blizzard has pretty much improved nothing. This is the first time I'm, play, uh, I'm playing a rogue, and you know what? I kind of enjoy it, but the reason that I enjoy it is because it has a lot of movement speed, and, well, it's pretty decent. But you know what I tried to do with the rogue at the start? And the rogue, uh, the, the rogue has pretty much the same problem that every single other uh, 
character just has that some skills are blatantly bl better than others. When I started the rogue, well, I'm obviously using puncture because no rogue ever doesn't use puncture because it's simply the best without any, <laughs> any question. And if you're not using puncture, you're just flat out doing it wrong. And you know, essentially it's the same problem that every other cl uh, class still has. Blizzard is concentrating on making new things and dumb shit like that, while they are not fixing any of the old problems. For example, I started the game and I wanted to use Barrage, and then I went to use, used Rapid Fire. Turns out, well, your AoE just absolutely sucks by playing Barrage and by playing things like Rapid Fire. Uh, and Flurry also sucks, but the only reason that Flurry doesn't suck for me is because I have the thing that makes you hear this. Flurry, uh, Flurry damages enemies in a circle around you. This is the only reason why Flurry is useful. And again, there is no reason that I should get a, uh, get some kind of affix, imbuement, a a aspect, ancestral power, or whatever you want to call it, on a piece of gear. Just, just so a skill becomes usable. Without this, my leveling honestly kind of was completely dependent on shadow, uh, shadow imbuement. Otherwise, I didn't have AoE. That's how much it honestly sucks. And, and it does suck. Why can't these skills just be good on their own? Why do I still need to do imbuements? For example, I started with Barrage and uh, rap uh, Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire is essentially the, uh, the equivalent of Strafe from Diablo 2. But this this thing just fires five arrows in a line. So it's useless for clearing. All you need to do with Rapid Fire to make it fun and so people will actually use it is... Uh, make it like strafe. If there's one opponent, you just fire five arrows into him. If there's five opponents or more opponents, it just fires either at the closest enemies or at random enemies. It, it would improve the uh, life quality of rapid fire so much and it would actually be a playable skill. But guess what? It isn't. There is some kind of affix that you can get. I think I think I have it somewhere in, in my inventory or whatever or in my chest. But there's some kind of rant open please uh there's some kind of affix that makes it that rapid fire has a f 80 percent chance to ricochet after the arrow hits that's nice but again why do i have to waste uh, a slot for an affix just so a skill is viable why can't all the skills be viable to begin with why can't rapid fire be the equivalent of strafe hmm why can't Barrage be literally multi-shot? Because this is what it, this is. This is multi-shot, but made worse. This is, uh, this is strafe, but made worse. Why? Why do we have to have these skills, but made worse? Why can't Barrage be just multi-shot? Oh, but then it would do bad single target damage. Make it so more than one arrow can hit the opponent. Cap it like a three or five or whatever. Just... Why do we why do we need affixes to make uh, to make you know our classes playable because the base skills are so fucking painful to use? Why? Why is that? I don't know. I, I don't know. But this is a problem and Blizzard is not addressing it at all. So you know if you're coming back and I don't know you're picking a class that you have already played, chances are. You're gonna play it the exact same t uh, same way as the previous uh, time you played it. There's gonna be literally zero difference. And that is a huge problem. Uh, the late game, I can't talk about the late game because clearly I'm not at the late game. But the early game at least is fun. It's gonna make you spend, I don't know, probably a couple of hours at the minimum. And I think it's honestly worth it. Is season 2 worth playing? I guess, yeah. Also, let's just go to the Whispering Tree like, do while do the outro. Maybe we get something good! The Whispering Tree rewards also, I don't know, I don't know if they have been buffed. But Whispering Tree previously was the most fun activity that you could do with the shittiest reward because the reward was complete garbage. Now, I don't know. One also thing that I would love for, uh, for Blizzard to actually add is, that's an interesting lag, not gonna lie. Uh, one interesting thing for uh, Blizzard that I would love that they actually added 
Uh, would be also, yeah, it gives un uh, unholy amounts of gold for some reason. And yes, we're at, I'm at the point where I still just look at DPS more. Well, I'm gonna switch something. <laughs> it, what? It's the start. I don't have to worry about, uh, about it. As long as the da DPS per second is higher, it's actually better. It, it matters. It actually only matters in the late game. So, you know, this is completely fine. <laughs> I'm not even changing the rings, even though I could get better ones, just because they have, I don't know, cool, cool things, I guess. Hey, it's casually friendly, what do you want? And I'm gonna completely abuse the fact that it's casually friendly. Uh, I would absolutely love it that you could get the materials to summon the late game end bosses while you are leveling. Now, I don't mean a lot, by the way. I just mean that uh, that the game shows you, yeah, this thing exists. Because currently, I'm pretty sure I have not found even a single one of those, unless some of these are the ones, but I, I think this is just quests, obviously. I don't know how they even look, okay? Uh, the seven, the, the special bosses things. But all in all, again, is this game worth playing? Well, you know, um... Oh, that is lag. Yeah, I don't know why this happens, but sometimes this lags. Well, the season journey was at bugged at the start. <laughs> and, well, the game could, was not playable at the start because it's a Blizzard launch and that's to be expected nowadays. But, you know, overall, I think those are not the biggest issues. I think this is playable. You should play it if you're interested. If you already own it, play it. Even if you play it for 5 hours, it's probably going to feel worth it. So yeah, uh, if you have it, try it. If you want to buy it, well, maybe buy it. I don't know. Season 2 is already so absolutely without question better than, se uh, than Season 1 is. Well, except the fact that they're not fixing all the problems. Like, for example, clicking the Whispering Tree. When you have done it, feel shit. <laughs> you know? A lot of problems still persist, but it's better. This this is honestly like 200 billion times better um, than, you know, what we previously had. I actually haven't finished the Paragon. Wait, I have finished the Paragon. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't ever finish the Paragon here, right? Oops, forgot about that. You know, the Paragon system is still technically here, but who honestly gives a shit? <laughs> It's, it's not a big deal, and if it's only one... Well, if you're a new player coming to this, good luck. This is gonna be super annoying, super tedious, super stupid, and you're gonna wish you never had to do it. But other than that, I think it's fine, you know? Buy it, don't buy it, it's your choice at the end. I'm surprised the Season 2 is honestly as good as it is. I expected something much, much worse. Pleasantly surprised because again, I want a good game at the end But at the same time It could be better. It still could be get better again th There's just so much unusable stuff when it comes to every class and it seems like Blizzard is not even you know Remotely looking in the direction of fixing it. I mean, that's just a feels bad man thing, right? Anyway, this was Chris said thanks for watching subscribe and already have a nice day. Bye. Bye